we're gonna do one more jig. Let's show you how we do it. We want to take our forceps and cover that eye completely up, y'all. All right, just like that. Yeah, that eye's completely covered up. We got our heat going on high, y'all. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Look, when you dip it in your powder paint, if it smokes, it's too hot, y'all. Alright, shake every bit of that excess off, alright? I'm just gonna go back up here, hit it a few seconds. It kind of partially cures it, y'all, but it will be baked out, alright? This is just for demonstration purposes only. Woo-wee, look at that right there, y'all. That's that Disco Seahawk by Protect Paint. Golly, that's fine, y'all. Hey, look at here. We're going to get all the rest of our stuff together. I'm about to show y'all some beautiful jigs, y'all. Crappie got to have them. I'll see y'all shortly. Hi, y'all. How we doing? Look at here. We did a little bit of paint and showed y'all how we started just from a unpainted jig head. And look here, we went with that Disco Seahawk on this one. Disco Seahawk, all right, <clears throat> that is from Protect Paint. That right there come from TJ's Tackle, y'all. They got a good selection of paint. All right, when I'm searching for material, I've got several suppliers. I, I buy in bulk now, you got to keep that in mind. And uh, so I, I get, you know, quite a bit of a discount. So look, <clears throat> they have thousands of colors. You, sometimes you see me talking about Barlow's, Nimrod's. Um, I don't know if I mentioned TJ's, but TJ's Tackle is another very good place to get your jig materials, y'all. Be good people, very good people. Y'all look at that. Look at that Disco Seahawk. Huh? I just... Took this off the heat gun. I want to show y'all. All right. It was clamp and then forceps, right? I took them forceps off. Look at that eye, that hook. It is good to go. It is perfect, y'all. You ain't got to sit there with a toothpick or a pick and fight it. It is ready to go, y'all. All right, now. A lot of people, <clears throat> you, you see me at the front of the video, I heated it up with my heat gun, right? Heated it up, I dipped it in, in my, in my powder paint, and then I put it back on that heat, all right? I put it back on that heat, it cured a little bit, all right? You need to bake these out. I got a video, shows you all about the paint process, all right? Me, myself, I'm not going to sell this jig. I'm going to use this jig. I got a trip tomorrow and I want to try a couple of different jigs. So I did a few different colors here and I'm not going to bake these out, y'all. It's not going to hurt a thing. This paint may last forever. You know, it's powder paint. It's very, very durable. All right. But every jig that I sell goes in my oven and is baked out, all right? 15 minutes at 400 degrees, 10 minutes at 400 degrees. If your oven does not go to 400 degrees, all right, 20 minutes at 350. You can call Protec. I've already put that in a video. They will tell you the same identical thing, all right? So for me, I just want to try some new colors tomorrow. So we're going to try this out, y'all. All right, that is a Disco Seahawk, all right? This right here, y'all, whoo-wee, that is a red bug by Protec, all right, the red bug, all right, let me show you that we, we got it right here, and everybody can see it, I don't want this to take no long time, but I want everybody, I like everybody to be able to see exactly what we're using, y'all. That way y'all can build exactly what I'm building, all right? Protect powder paint, all right? That is the red bug, R-E-D, bug, just like the bug, B-U-G. All right, this right here, y'all, come from Barlow's, Barlow's Tackle, all right? We did another one. This is called the Bama Crawl, B-A-M-A-C-R-A-W, 
Boy, that's a good looking color right there, y'all. Look at that shine in there. Gosh, dog, you can do so much with these, man. All right, <clears throat> we got another one right here. And it is called Mango Magic, y'all. Woo-wee, that's a good looking head. That's a good looking color, y'all. Check that out. Golly, man. Pro Tech got some awesome colors, y'all. But look, what we're going to focus on right now this is going to be the Sassy Shiner, y'all. The Sassy Shiner. All right? I told y'all, <clears throat> these Sama Gons, it's, it's weird, boy. They've been biting that daggone my chartreuse like crazy, man. Chartreuse, chartreuse, chartreuse. But I start, started throwing a lot of darker colors, darker reds, darker blues, stuff like that. But I've been adding a lot of lighter colors because of the contrast. It it is it's cold, it's windy, but it's sunny as heck, y'all. So that light penetration is 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 going way below the surface of the water. Uh, so these fish they they can see. We fishing about last few days we've been fishing from 18 to 23 feet. Tomorrow we're gonna start out. First power we're going to is 23.9. So right between 23, 24 foot, all right? This is a sassy shiner, y'all, all right? Now, y'all know I like to be different, right? Different colors, I'm wild, I'm crazy, all that kind of stuff. You know, look, we're going to start out, <clears throat> all right? This is, they call it silver, but it's actually gray. Let me turn it around, y'all. It's Danville, it's 210, size 210, all right, that is waxed, all right, I do, <clears throat> I say it all the time, that is flat waxed, I like the wax because I feel that it holds my material way better, all right, <clears throat> start out there with our little tagline, y'all, start wrapping, we're going to make sure we get a good, nice, even wrap all the way from the base of the head to the point of the hook. You want to go back. Same thing. Nice, even layer, y'all. You want to make sure that entire hook shank is covered. All right? Both ways, forward and back. Now, <clears throat> these summer guns, I told you, they get they funny, man. It's funny the way they bite. I chalked every color. I got at them, y'all. But we got them figured out. All right. <clears throat> now, we're going to we gonna put blue flash in there, y'all. That's blue flash of boo. Flash of boo magnum, y'all. Look at here. Flyfishfood.com. I'm going to put all this in a video. Flyfishfood.com, y'all. I finally had a best selection. <clears throat> and for retail sales, they got pretty much some of the best prices out there, y'all. So unless you just buying in bulk, buying a ton of it, buy, you know, 40 or 50, 60, 100, you know, 100 packs of it, flyfishfood.com is about the best place you can go, all right? They're very good people. I like to deal with them. They get my orders here on time. I ain't got to wait on them. You know, if I've ever had a problem, which I've never had a problem, one time, you know, UPS, whatever, kind of <clears throat> lost it, and hey, they were right on it, y'all. We use the blue, all right? Same thing. This is just pearl. Same thing. Pearl, magnum, flash of blue, y'all. We're going to put that in there, too. All right? I noticed, I'm telling you, I sat there. It's like I did a did a science experiment. You remember them science experiments in school, you know? You did all this different stuff. Well, that's what I've been doing with these crappie, y'all. I've been chunking jigs without flash. I've been chunking jigs with flash. Uh, I've been chunking them every different color I had, all right? Different head shapes. I hadn't really noticed a the difference. They, they bite in the same on a round head as, as they are on a wedge head, you know? I get that asked a lot, you know, how to figure out, you know, when I want to fish a, a round head or a, or a wedge head. And I really, I can't answer that, y'all, because basically, I mean, to me, it's, it's all about a color, you know, in the, in the profile. 
And I think to me, you know, this is my thought process. All right? If you if you're a crappie, all right, and you're you're in the water, all right, if you see if you see a wedge head coming at you, or you see that ball head, right? I believe that they can see more of the body of that jig with that wedge head than they can in that ball. See, they see that ball, or he's a, a round ball coming at them. I truly believe with that wedge head that they can see more of that body material, all right? So that, that is my opinion. That's That's where I stand on that. People ask me that all the time. That's the best answer I got. And I fish with all of them, y'all. <clears throat> on a daily basis, I fish with every single one of them. So, anyway, look. They have uh, <clears throat> on this bucktail, synthetic fiber, uh, synthetic fiber, polar fiber, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this right here is just fake synthetic bucktail, okay? <clears throat> Same thing as it, Okay. This right here, look, this is the same identical thing, just a different brand, okay? Just made by a different manufacturer. This right here, same identical thing, made by a different manufacturer. I'm sure it's the same process. They just they just do it different. I mean, just different names, okay? So <clears throat> we look on here. You see this? It says the Polar Bear, Polar Fiber. You see that right there? Uh, that's why I call it the polar fiber, y'all. It comes on a stick, you cut it off. It comes in little packets, you come, cut it off. It comes in little bundles. You name it. It comes all kind of different ways. And I, every time I get it, I get it a different way. So it just depends on what supplier I use. And I guess what mood they're in that day. <laughs> that's, that's the best way I can answer that, y'all. So, look, that that right there is around four and three quarters inches, all right? They say it's five inches, okay? <clears throat> That's what it says on the package, all right? So, depending on what size jig, all right, you're not going to waste it. I don't want to take the whole thing because I'm going to double this up, all right? I'm going to cut it about three and a half inches long, Okay. Cut it about three and a half inches long, three and a half, three and three quarters or so. Then I'm going to double it up. But I, I said this is going to be the sassy shiner, right? So we're going to add another color in there, y'all. That sucker got to be sassy, right? He got to be sassy to be the sassy shiner, y'all. So look here. You see that little, I got a little pea sticking out. Sometimes it's going to be like that. So we're going to reach right over there, and we're going to cut it off with our old nifty scissors, y'all. All right. couple of light wraps. Get it where we want it. We're going to tie that puppy down, y'all. Good, nice, even wraps. All right. You want to cover the whole thing? Keep in mind, y'all, we tying in to that base layer, right? We are tying in to that first layer of thread that we laid down. All right. I tie my knot off right there. Roll my little bobbin back up. Now, y'all. Now. Let's get to the sassy. Let's get to the sassy, y'all. All right. This here. Is obviously a little bit different texture. It's, it's, it's a little stringy, and obviously you can tell it's a lot longer. All right, but I'm gonna cut off the same amount. You know, three, three and a half, three and three quarters, something like that. All right. And I'm gonna tell you, if you do this in the house, if you do this in the house, y'all make sure it's somewhere where your wife, your girlfriend, whatever, your mom, your dad, whoever, is going to make a mess is what I'm getting at. All right? It's going to make a mess, so be prepared to, to vacuum and clean it up because you are going to make a mess. Okay, I got a room, but it runs all the time, plus I vacuum all the time. Look at here. We're going to lay that right on top of there, y'all. 
We got to tie that puppy in, y'all. Ooh, we I can already tell you. All right, that laid down good. Man, that laid down good. So, you see how you got something popping up on that, y'all? That's just because that stuff, just the way it's made. <clears throat> and uh, there's nothing you can do about it. Literally nothing you can do about it. Only thing you can do about it is cut it off or don't worry about it. The crappie cannot see it. You're going to cover it up with that bottom material anyway, right? But just for giggles and y'all to see, we're going to take it and we're going to cut it off. All right? We're going to run our fingers, run our hands through there. Any kind of loose material you got and anything kind of dangling. All right, see that's a little long? We're going to cut that off, y'all. All right. Boy, 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 I'm going to tell you something. Woo! I can see it right now, y'all. All right. Now, they do have, this right here is Flash of Boo, all right? Just, just a different style. It's like, like the, it's sort of like braided, right? That's pearl, that's silver, okay? We want it. We're going to go with a pearl, y'all, all right? And we're going to cut at the same length. We're going to get us about, I don't know, eight, eight or ten pieces there. And look, I don't skimp on my jigs, y'all. I know... That you know, I could use less material. I see, you know, I was actually in academy. It's my grandson's birthday today, and we, we stopped back through, went in academy. I see some hand tied jigs over there, and they were like, I don't know, two forty nine or something. Yeah, two forty nine. And uh, man, I was looking at them, and I said, Gosh, dang man, you know. I could save a lot of time. I could save a lot of money. I could just throw them jigs together, you know, <clears throat> make them like, you know, the big box guys or whatever. But, man, I just couldn't live with myself. No way. Look at that. We cut out the same length. We folded it over, y'all. But anyway, back to, back to the big box stores, you know. Yes, you can buy them a little cheaper. Save yourself a little money. But the detail's not there, and I'm going to tell you something. I have gotten a bind down on my camp on a river, y'all. And literally, I, have, I, I went in and bought some jigs for $4 a piece. $3.99, $4 a piece. And fished with them, I don't know, one time. And that was a wrap. Literally, it was a wrap. They were done with it. Paint chipping off. <clears throat> All the, everything coming off of them, coming untied. I take pride in everything I do, y'all. Each J that comes off of this, this vice right here is guaranteed. I'm going to stand behind it, all right? You should do the same thing. <clears throat> it's going to take you a while if you're just getting started out, y'all. That's, that's why I show every single step, everything that I'm doing. I list all the materials because you can make these jigs. And you can make good quality jigs. Yes, it takes some time, all right? <clears throat> but if you put in the time, and this is something you want to do, guys and gals, I promise you, if you stay with me and you follow this channel, you can make your own jigs. And you can make good quality jigs that, that crappie are going to buy. I promise you that. All right? <clears throat> now, let's get to the fun part, y'all. Let's get to the fun part. All right. Now, yes, we could use this right here, huh? This is New Age peppermint, winter peppermint or something. I don't know. But we're not going to do that, y'all. We want this song going to stand out. All right? We want her to stand out, guys and gals. So guess what we going to do? All right? You see where it's from? Bardo's Tackle. Tinsel, y'all. This is going to be the sassy shiner, y'all. I'm telling you. Whoo. Guys and gals, I know some of these videos get a little long. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> sometimes I kind of feel bad about it. But then, then I say, you know what? I want it. You know, I want everybody to see each step. I want them to be able to, to follow me, see what I'm doing, know why I'm doing it. 
That way they can make the same jigs, okay? <clears throat> I'm gonna use two of these. We're gonna tie them together. So I'm gonna strip that down to the thread, okay? Just put it between your fingers and go to stripping, y'all. Go to stripping them, babe. All right. <clears throat> you see down here? I hope you can see that. How I miss that, all right? Get your little slack out, then catch it, all right? See that? Put me a little slack out, and I caught it. Get that tied in real good. Ooh wee, I'm gonna tell you what, man, man, man. I guarantee you, ooh, yeah, I guarantee you they gonna be a crappie on this jig in the morning, y'all. I promise you. Hey, y'all, look. <clears throat> Do not forget. Tell your buddies. Tell your families. Tell your friends. Tell everybody about this giveaway. Y'all, this is going to be a wonderful trip. You're going to have a wonderful time. You're going to have a wonderful meal if you win. Uh, you're going to have a meal at the Fisherman's Market. That's a staple in, in Longview, Texas. It's been here for years and years and years. Uh, a good, nice, sweet at the Homewood Suites right here in Longview, y'all. I mean, that's something nice to win now. I mean, I guarantee you, if literally all I had to do is hit a button and subscribe, you know, for a chance to win, you know, a trip. You know, for six people, man, that's a trip of a lifetime to me. I don't know about y'all, but to me, that's a trip of a lifetime, man. You get to catch plenty of crappie, <clears throat> get a free meal, get a free hotel. You and five of your family members, five of your best buddies. Hey, man, and look, we got whoever wins, we gonna work around the schedule. It ain't got to be now. It ain't got to be, we gonna work to the best time, you know. Work around my schedule and work around y'all schedule. So, I'm telling you, <clears throat> spread the word, guys and gals. Let's build this community. Build this community. Let's help as many people as we can. Get as many people as we can to making jigs. Look at that. Always make sure and tighten down on your deal. See, I didn't tighten down enough, and I sucker trying to give away on me. All right. Here we go, y'all. Y'all know how I like to do it. I like to build that thread up, right? <clears throat> so this is not going to stand out as much as a neon or a, you know, a color like that. But it is that extra color, y'all. Look at that. Look up there, y'all. I use that silver. That's what it's supposed to be, but it's actually gray. But well, I'm going to tell you something. I guarantee you. And in water, under the water, that crappie can see that color. That crappie can see that difference, y'all. Woo wee, y'all. Look at that old sassy shiner, y'all. God almighty, that's a fine jig right there. Gosh, dog. I got so excited, I'm knocking stuff off the desk, y'all. Woo wee. Look at that, y'all. Gosh, a mighty dang. I'm telling you, a crappie gotta have a bite, y'all. God, a mighty look at that jig. Woo, see it just jigging across there. Guys and gals, I appreciate each and every one of y'all watching these videos. I appreciate y'all subscribing, sharing. Gosh, man, it means so much to me, man. Look, I'm glad to be able to help y'all. As always, if I can help in any way, do not hesitate to reach out, guys and gals. It may take me a minute. I'm busy as heck right now. It's my busy season now through the end of spawning season. But anyway, I will get back to you. I promise. The Sassy Shiner. Look at that. God almighty, y'all. Guys and gals, I appreciate y'all watching. God bless. And we will see y'all next time.